Hello everyone, Dimple here again welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components. Last video I explained what are the different test categories that come under GTS. Uh, today we will be seeing what are the different test categories that come under VTS which is nothing but the vendor's test suit. It includes tests specifically designed to validate that customizations and hardware components added by device manufacturers meet compatibility requirements and uh, they do not negatively impact the android experience so basically vts is something related to all the hardware components of your device to make sure all your hardware components are working fine and they do not negatively impact the android experiences so here are a few examples of vts test cases which we'll be going through today along with potential issues and fixes so let's get started the first uh, type of uh, this test category i would say is camera compatibility so what are the test cases which include under these camera compatibility are that uh, tests are included to verify that devices camera hardware and software are compatible with android's camera apis so in one of my session i had explained what are the different types of camera apis camera one api camera two api uh, to check if the camera hardware and software are compatible with all these camera apis we add certain test cases which come under camera compatibility what kind of issues come under this type of uh, camera compatibility category is that if issues like camera crashes or poor quality image quality poor image quality or misalignment between hardware and software occur the device manufacturer may release a firmware or software updates to address these camera compatibility issues so any issues related to camera the device manufacturer has to take on his shoulder and he will uh, give proper fixes so this was one type of category let's move on to our second category that is sensors and sensor function fusion sorry sensors and sensor fusion so what kind of tests are coming under these are uh, this includes or this ensures that sensors for example we use many sensors right accelerometer gyroscope magnetometer we also use proximity sensors etc so we to make sure these sensors are functioning correctly and provide accurate data to the application uh, we have these kind of test cases so if sensors uh, produce inaccurate data or fail to work as expected device manufacturers may need to release updates that improve sensor compatibility and performance so again uh, if any issues with the sensor the manufacturer has to take uh, responsibility and go ahead and fix such issues uh, earlier we saw in CTS there were uh, many uh, things like performance issues, security issues where both manufacturer as well as Google had to play a role in it and GTS we saw it's only dependent on Google, all the Google related apps, any issues come there Google has to fix but this vendor test suit it's again dependent on the hardware manufacturer or the device manufacturer so because it's uh, issue related to hardware right they have to uh, take responsibility and fix all these issues next we'll see display and screen compatibility so the test cases uh, include uh, does this thing like it validates the display resolution color accuracy touch screen functionality all such uh, test cases thousands of thousands of test cases will be under this display screen compatibility uh, for example, if users experiences display issues such as color distortion, touch screen calibration problems or display artifacts, the manufacturer may release firmware or software updates to address these display compatibility issues. So that was about display. Next we'll see connectivity and radio compatibility. So as the name itself says, this category will include test cases which ensure Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular and other connectivity features work correctly and they do not interfere with one another. When I turn on Wi-Fi, my Bluetooth is getting off or when I uh, turn on Wi-Fi, my cellular data is getting off. All such misconnections or uh, not compatible things are included in this particular test 
cases so if connectivity issues are there or if there are any signal drops or interference occur the manufacturer may release updates to improve the compatibility of wireless radios and connectivity components i hope that is clear we'll move on to our next uh test category that is custom software uh, features so these include uh test cases which will validate any custom software features or user interfaces developed by device manufacturer me as a device manufacturer will definitely and obviously add few customizations to my android device to um make my android device outstanding among other available android devices right so those custom software features all those things are validated under these test cases under this category custom software features so if these custom software features have bugs or issues that affect the user experience again the manufacturer has to take the responsibility go ahead and fix those issues next uh, we'll see biometric authentication related test cases so as the name itself says uh, this category include the test cases which verify the functionality and security of biometric authentication methods such as fingerprint sensors or facial recognition so one of the very very important uh, feature of android this is so if these biometric authentication methods are unreliable or insecure the manufacturer may issue a updates to enhance the security and performance of these features very important right if uh, someone else is able to put their fingerprint and log in to my phone that's a very very uh, big security breach so such kind of test cases all of those come under this biometric authentication category next and our last uh, category will be battery and power management so this battery and power management category includes thousands of thousands of test cases which will ensure that the device power management system optimizes the battery life and performance effectively so if users experiences poor battery life or power management related issues uh, then again the manufacturer has to take the sole responsibility and go ahead and fix these so these were the different uh, categories we saw biometric authentication battery related or display and screen compatibility custom software features connectivity and radio uh, related issues uh, camera related and such things so that was about uh, uh, i wanted to tell about this vts test suits or test categories these examples uh, just demonstrate the role of vts in verifying the hardware components and customizations introduced by device manufacturers and they make sure they do not negatively impact the android ecosystem so when compatibility issues are identified during vts testing the device manufacturers are responsible for releasing updates to improve the compatibility performance and reliability of their devices so from uh, a lot of videos maybe 5 to 6 videos i have covered about the cps gts vts test categories they are nothing big simple, uh, big words to uh, tell in simple methods they are just a uh, um, collection of test cases why these test cases are needed to ensure that your uh, android phone is working fine that's all so that uh was all for today i wanted to explain about vts uh, i hope you all understood and that's clear i'll meet you all soon in my next session until then everyone take care